Hello everyone. Uh, I just want to show you something real quick. Um, on this unit, this is the Isomatic Ice Maker. Uh, the model is 1006. And um, I wanted to show you because when I got here, um, the unit was, was down. It wasn't making ice. You can see in the ice bin, nothing in the ice bin. And it was frozen over, but it was frozen with just frost, not, it, it was um, just frosty. So when I seen that, I know I recognize that being that the water pump is not working. So I thought at first that the water pump was bad. And then I went in and I looked on the inside here and you see the, right here, the three wires this wire, this wire right here in the center, and then this wire here on the end. So these three wires are the wire for the pump. And what someone did was the wire going over here, I'm not sure if I could give you a good look at it, but there's so many wires, but this wire goes over to the right side of the contactor. Okay, and it there's a, there's a let me see I got it live so I'm trying to be careful here, but you can see like there's a red wire that's connected to the right side of that contactor back there, and right when I got when I opened this up this wire right here for the pump it was just dangling right here it was just hanging. So it wasn't even connected. And there was a service guy out here earlier. So I'm just assuming that he forgot to put that on. But I just wanted to show this to you because this is a good chance to show you where those pump motors go. So this is the uh, the actual uh, pump for the, for the ice. It's what pumps the water through to the evaporator. It pumps it out here. For the for the drain to the drain line, and it plugs in, it plugs in right here to this terminal. So when you get on this side of it into the electrical panel, you can see it's got three wires. Okay, so one of your wires, the center wire, goes to a ground. See a ground back there, and then the uh, the left side wire, it connects to the middle terminal on your on your ice off wash switch. So it connects to that middle that middle terminal there. There's three terminals. There's three terminals across there and that wire connects to the center terminal on top. And then this wire here goes over to the contactor to the right hand side of the contactor and it connects on the coil on the coil side of that contactor there's two terminals there and as you saw there was one red red wire that was already connected well it this was supposed to connect to that terminal right next to it but it wasn't connected so um i just wanted to go over that and let you guys see that um real quick but right now i got this back up and running and it's um it's freezing down now so this should be fine, but um, hey, thank you for your time. I just wanted to show that to you. Uh, I hope that I hope that helps at some point. Take care, everyone. I invite you to enter our Black & Decker electric screwdriver raffle. Go to our link below or in the description to enter. This is a 4 volt max electric screwdriver. It features a pivoting handle, an LED, a lithium battery that holds a charge up to 18 hours. It includes a USB charger. So enter today. Just click the link in the description or go to the link below. Thank you.